Mrs. Makiba, are people happy in Johannesburg? That depends on which people you're talking about. When we speak of people in Johannesburg, we have to be specific in that in South Africa, there are two separate communities, and that's the white community and the black community. Uh, I will speak for my community. I think we are happy, we dance, we sing, uh, because for, to us, uh, sometimes it's better to laugh to keep from crying. Mrs. Makeba, you sing your songs in a lot of countries. And obviously, quite obviously, it is not only purely show business. Actually, wh which is the message you want to give to transmit to your public, to your listeners? Well, I always feel that uh, even though one is an artist, uh, that we are first human beings and we live in the same world as a any other person, so that uh, we as artists should never close our eyes to what is happening around us. Therefore, coming from South Africa, naturally I, uh, my life was affected by uh, my environment there and uh, the songs that I sing are just about my everyday life and uh, the things I say are those things that have affected my life. The message I'm trying to give to my audience is not one, I am just trying to make them understand me as a person and uh, understand my country and my people. Uh, do you see uh, some principal difference between the struggle of the Africans in countries like uh, South Africa, Mozambique, Angola, on the one hand, and on the other hand in countries like Brazil and the United States, where they are in minority? There is really no difference in, in, in the, uh, the struggle between the people you have mentioned, because we are all Africans. We were just put in different countries by white people who took the people from Africa and spread them out. And it is true that our problems are the same. Now, th saying that they are a minority, this really means nothing because the white man, wherever he is, whether he is in the majority or the minority, he rules. It just shows you, if, if to, it just proves to everyone that we just have to keep fighting. We just have to fight that much more because it doesn't matter whether he's majority or minority, he's always on top. Which status are you aiming to between the whites and the Africans at the end, when you have one? That will depend on them. We are not worried about them, we are just worried about ourselves. It is our country they came from Europe to invade our country. They took it. They have made us suffer. So we don't have to worry about thinking what will we do to them or what will happen to them. It will be up to them to see fit what they can do when we have won. Just like they see fit what to do right now while they are on top. So it's something that we don't worry about. All we are worried about is to fight and liberate ourselves. What will happen after that will depend again on uh, the invaders. They could have come to our country and live side by side with us. We didn't mind that. In fact, when they came, we said, come in, sit down. And they sat down and said, get out. And now it is, it will, it will be up to them. It is known that Africa only had black people. Europe had white people. Asia had yellow people. Now, it is absurd to say that we Africans were not in Africa when white people first came. And secondly, the conqueror writes history. They came, they conquered, and they wrote. 
Now you don't expect people who came to invade us to write the truth about us. They will always write negative things about us. And they have to do that because they have to justify their invasion in all the countries. It's like saying when the, uh, the Europeans went to America, there were no Indians there. It's ridiculous because they were there. I know that my people were there. We don't write our history. It has always been handed down to us orally by our elders. Of course, the white man came, came and he writes history. In fact, you don't know anything about any place until the white man gets there. Like my husband always says, it's like saying, well, whenever the, until the white man comes to any place, nothing lives. It's only when he comes and says, boof, I've discovered you, now you exist, which is ridiculous. And that is why I have to say the things I say in my performances, because I know, again, that I am right. And because I am right, I know I will win, because the truth shall never be covered by lies. I have difficulties in many different places, and not only me. Uh, I think uh, if you're black, you, you have difficulties everywhere there are white people. And most white people always say that uh, we should not generalize and so on and so forth. And in fact, there are some countries, even take Sweden. In Sweden, people say they are not, there's no racial problem there. But it is only because there are not that many black people in Sweden, so you don't really see it as clearly as you see it in countries like United States or even South Africa. But there is prejudice everywhere. For instance, in Sweden, we were performing there, and my guitarist, who uh, isn't really white, he is uh, Brazilian, and he's, uh, he looks white because he, he's an albino, but um, uh, some people approached him on four occasions and told him, why does he have to play with niggers? And this was in Sweden, uh, where people really often say they have no problem. And take his country, Brazil. We were there last June, and people, white people in Brazil denied the fact that there were racial problems uh, in uh, Brazil. But it exists. We saw it every day. Everywhere I performed in Brazil, I never saw black people. I only performed to white people. And they said, well, it's because they can't afford to come here. It's too expensive, which is another form. I mean, that is another form of keeping them from coming to where they can enjoy themselves together with white people. They keep them poor so that uh, we have problems everywhere. Sometimes people send us threatening letters, and some send very vulgar letters and tell us, nigga, get out of here and go. So there's nowhere to run. Uh, we just have to stay wherever we are and, and fight to liberate ourselves.